This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. The Tudor Theory. In the 1920s, a physician named Orville Ward Owen had claimed to find hidden ciphers within Shakespeare's writings. Using a cipher wheel, he combined keywords and phrases from Francis Bacon, Shakespeare, and other writers. Orville Ward Owen had also claimed to find hidden messages within Shakespeare and Bacon's writings. A 1,000-word strip of words and phrases were applied to strips of the canvas, then rolled over the cipher wheel. It was then rolled again with more words and phrases that included writings from Christopher Marlowe, which were highlighted. The findings were then checked by cytologists William and Elizabeth Friedman, who at first believed the theory, but concluded it was invalid. Orville Ward Owen believed Bacon had not only wrote Shakespeare, but also wrote Robert Greene, George Peel, Edmund Spencer, and Robert Burton's writings. He later wrote, Sir Francis Bacon's Cypher Story, finally giving birth to the Prince Tudor Theory. The Tudor Theory believed Francis Bacon was the illegitimate child of Queen Elizabeth, and Robert Dudley the Earl of Leicester, and father of Robert Devereux, Earl of Essex whom Elizabeth executed, because of a rebellion against England. Another man named as being the illegitimate son of Queen Elizabeth was Edward de Vere, claiming that Queen Elizabeth hid the pregnancy and birth to retain the nobility of Virgin Queen. The theory claimed, Bacon's father had married Queen Elizabeth in secrecy, and Bacon had written hidden stories under pen names to not be connected with them. Orville Ward Owen came to believe hidden messages were in the stories, and written with secret ciphers, hidden from those who would censor the works. Nothing has been found of any writings, suggesting this to be true. Warren eventually traveled to England, and excavated the riverbeds of the River Wye, believing an iron box with Shakespeare's missing manuscripts were locked inside. He felt that this was the answer to the mystery of his theory. Within the box were the original manuscripts of William Shakespeare's early plays. Nothing was found and Warren died bedridden, poor, and discredited because of his belief. Before his death, he recommended that nobody should ever become interested in the subject whatsoever. Owen's assistant, Elizabeth Wells Gallup, developed his theories and his cipher was found by Virginia Fellows in a Detroit warehouse. Virginia Fellows would eventually wear out the Shakespeare Code, which was published in 2006 after her death. This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.